Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we would like to talk about Fresnel single set diffraction. We also find trying to find out the condition for the dark spots. Basing on that, we can find the width of the central bright spot. Let us try to draw a diagram of that what is required to understand that we are saying. Let us consider a kind of a opening whose width dotted part is A. Let us consider a screen a little far from that. Let the perpendicular distance between this slit and the screen is capital D. And we want to know what is the impact at the point P on the screen. Light from these two ends at the two other extremes can reach this point P. It is obvious that light reaching these two points is going to have some path difference. So, how much is the path difference is to find out? If the central spot is making an angle theta, it is obvious that if we draw to get the path difference between them, a perpendicular line, this is the perpendicular line, this angle also will be theta, this is the path difference that it is going to be. So by drawing a perpendicular line from the first point to the second point, we get this is the path difference between them. So this right angle triangle, we can write in that right angle triangle sin theta equal to delta x by a, like we have written earlier, even in the case of the interference experiment also. So delta x could be written like a sin theta. When theta is small, sin theta is close to theta. So delta x is nothing but equal to a into theta itself. This delta x value could be a different values. Basing on that, we can decide whether a given point is a bright spot or a dark spot. Say for example, let us start discussing something like, if delta x is lambda, so we will take this small part of the diagram and redraw it here to understand what's the meaning of that. Let us redraw only that part of the diagram. This is a magnified version of that we want to draw here. This is one part. This is another wave. These two are meeting here. This is delta x. If this delta x equal to lambda, of course, this angle is theta. In the middle of that, exactly at the middle, we can write this difference is lambda by 2. That path difference is lambda by 2. Now we can say every point on this, every small point, is going to behave like different sources. How do these different sources will combine together on the screen? Here is going to create either a bright spot or a dark spot. It could be imagined like 1000 or less, 1 lakh kind of the sources. But just for understanding, let me consider there are 100 sources, 1 to 100. As this is lambda by 2, we can divide the total number of the sources into two parts. So 1 to 50 there, 51 to 100 here, right? So the divided sources where each point on the wave front of that slit is acting like a source. The source 1 and 51 has a delta x of lambda by, by 2 here. Then we can write delta phi as, as we know the formula, 2 pi by lambda into delta x. The delta x is lambda by 2. Lambdas and 2 Scott cancelled. 
so between these two points when they reach on the screen there is a phase difference of pi or 180 degree or they are out of phase being out of phase opposite in phase on the screen here they produce a dark spot so this can happen for delta x equal to lambda 2 lambda 3 lambda and so on n lambda if it is 2 lambda we need to divide this into four parts where first part have 25 sources out of 100 second will be 26 to 50 first and 26th will be in opposite phase like that each source find a pair of the other source which are who are going to create a path difference of lambda by 2 and a phase difference of 180 so the resultant of all of them is going to be a dark spot so for delta x equal to n lambda on the screen we see dark the first thing that what we notice this can be first noticed if delta x equal to lambda we see the first dark on the screen so delta x equal to lambda we see the first dark on the screen so here first dark for delta x equal to lambda we can get the same at the bottom also the first dark for delta x equal to lambda mean to say this is the first dark before that there is no dark at all that means in between all these darks it's going to be automatically bright so what is there in between the first dark and first dark is being called as central bright of the diffraction pattern is called central bright or the zero -th order bright of the diffraction pattern so if you consider the point p is at a distance y writing the similar kind of condition like sin theta equal to tan theta sin theta here is delta x by a tan theta here is y by d that implies y equal to capital D by A into delta x. So, for a dark spot of the diffraction pattern, y equal to D by A of L lambda. So, the first dark is D by A of lambda. So, from here to here, the distance is d lambda by a from here to here also the first dark d lambda by a that implies we can find out width of central bright or the zero -th order bright is simply the distance between the first two darks from center to the first dark above d lambda by a from center first dark below d lambda by a so the width of the central bright spot is 2 into d into lambda by a that's how i can find out the width of the central bright thank you for being here we'll come back for the condition of a dark spot and bright spots further in the case of diffraction thank you